Hey, look at this. We have Raymond the Amish comic with us. How do you do? Hi. I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Here now, it was a, a two fortnight trip in the buggy to get up here to Rochester. <laughs> How'd it go? It's it, pretty cold. It's pretty cold, man. Well, I made it. I made it. I just want to check your microphone, if you don't mind. Is that okay, Ray? Check my microphone. Okay, check, I'm gonna. Check I'm the gonna. Amish guys, electric. That's I, what we yeah, I'm do. gonna. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think I just got your beard there. I'm sorry. So we have Raymond the Honest Comic with us. He's at the Joke Factory over on Brooks Avenue. Uh, and he, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was exciting. And uh, apologies to everyone for rolling in late. When they you come in and they say 15 seconds. And this poor man has to come in and clip things on me. Uh, <laughs> I'll be your, your most favorite and least favorite Amish person ever to be on the show. Amish uh, comic. That, yes. Th See, you, you're making the right face because when you hear that, think, yeah. and you should make that face, it's because when people hear the Amish comic and they just go, huh? Then they, then they don't know why it's weird. How did this happen? <laughs> I'm a terrible farmer. I'm a, I'm a rotten farmer, and when you're Amish and you're bad at farming, you're pretty much out of career options. So, <laughs> yeah. so you went into, uh, how did you get into comedy now? Were you always kind of humorous and funny? No, I, just, I wasn't like plowing the fields going, man, I'm a pretty funny farmer. Maybe <laughs> one day I could make the trip up to Rochester and headline at the comedy club up there. So it, it was accidental. I, uh, uh, I actually used to work at a, a T-shirt printing shop, and everybody there wanted to kill each other. This was one of my first jobs out. So they used to phone in like a morning uh, radio show and hand me the phone, and I didn't really know what I was doing. Apparently, I was funny enough to that launch my career. No way! Then I actually had to, because uh, the boss wasn't happy about making phone calls to the radio, so I had to sneak into uh, indoor plumbing in the toilet. My career actually started in the toilet, in indoor plumbing. <laughs> Take the phone in there, which was a comfort zone. The first yeah. few times on stage, I felt awkward being in front of people. I'd rather be like in this bathroom with a phone. Do they, put a, toilet, <laughs> do they to, put a toilet on stage for you to make to, it feel a little bit better? Just in my brain. Just in, in my brain. brain. There's a toilet in the it, corner it, on stage? It, it, yes. Yeah. I think that's a good description of my show. <laughs> so, speaking of, what kind of what kind of jokes do you tell? I don't tell jokes. I am a cursing, ranting no. storyteller. No, you're yes. not. See, no, you're not. See, with growing up Amish, you're not allowed to have any opinions about anything. So now you're overly and opinionated? I'm overly opinionated. The city folks, we, we can complain about everything. Movies we haven't seen, uh, Facebook posts on our wall that get us mad, block, delete, gone. You, we can have opinions about everything. I, Cursing? Uh, yes. When did it's, you leave the Amish life? Oh, it's been long. It's been, it's a blur. I don't even think I can find my farm anymore. So mm. I have some roots down there because I'm playing the long shot. You know, when marijuana becomes legal in Pennsylvania, my people will move to the top of the food chain. <laughs> You're going to want to know farmers when that's a legal <laughs> thing. So every year I show up at a meeting, just plant corn one more year, and then see how it goes. Wow. So, planning for the future. Planning for the future, <laughs> Yet yeah. you maintained everything, the dress, the beard. I like the look. I, I, I like the look. I don't have to wonder what I'm going to wear in the morning. And you uh, have pockets, I, unlike those. I do have pockets. That's why I have pants you have buttons. with zippers. Not yeah. today, but right. it's, a, it's a simple pleasure. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. When you leave Amish, that's what you do. You don't look for a phone. You want, I want pants with a zipper. You want right. Zip. <laughs> I love the sound. Zip. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I went in. It's a true story. I went into the mall, and they, they always have the new jeans for you to try yeah. on. It's, would you like to try on our all-new button-down fly jeans. No! And they're not new. They're very old. I want pants with a zipper. <laughs> want pants with a zipper. A lot of zippers, man. Now you got a lot of zippers, a lot of opinions at the comedy club. Yeah, yes. Raymond the Amish comic. I love it. Wow, this is a first for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is How great. Thank you so much for rolling in. All right, I'll tweet this to my Facebook. Uh, <laughs> oh, Ray. I would expect nothing less. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Marty is going to have the full forecast coming up. If you're walking or taking a buggy anywhere, right? you're certainly going to want to listen to that. The buggy I can, forecast? I can shake the dirt and smell it and tell you how the weather will be. But Oh, <laughs> Marty, you've got some competition. <laughs> Any dirt around here you can have Marty smell? <laughs> Ray, hilarious. Thanks for having me. Oh my me. gosh, Comedy Club, don't miss him.